Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. Today I am VOD reviewing again. This is my second match that's worth talking about. I think I'm like six and one at this point, uh, playing against something that's a little competent. And uh, so I'm playing against Phantom Knights. I'm just going to VOD review my matches. This is uh, Infernoid versus uh, Phantom Knights, so we're going to get into the game now. Uh, so I'm going to win the Rock, Paper, Scissors. I'm going to opt to go first. The same deck list I was playing last time. Um, so we open Duality, Mystic Mind, Solemn Judgment, Void, Van Void Imagination, and Void Vanishment. So I actually opened two going second cards in case I lost the dice roll. I have access to my best starter. It loses hard to Ogre. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have Ogre. And we have Duality to dig for more cards if we need them. Our opponent's on uh, Phantom Knight, Burning Abyss. They have Tour Guide, uh, Shade Brigandine, Stained Greaves, uh, Emergency Teleport, and Artifact Scythe in hand. Um, their rating is currently 100, so they are new to the format at least. Um, experience is 164, so they've at least played DB. Uh, I'm at 226 rating with uh, 9 experience, so I barely played. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, say some good lucks. Uh, I start with Void Vanishment, deciding what card to discard. Now, I could have fought a duality first. I wanted to search a uh, feast and then try and dig for the second feast, although in reality it probably makes more sense for me to actually activate duality first and try and grab feast. If I don't see a feast, I could just grab an infernoid to have a good discard so I don't have to pitch one of my uh, other cards for uh, vanishment. But I decide, since I'm going first, I'm just going to commit to not using imagination. Uh, so I search void feast and then I go to activate pot of duality. Uh, let's see what cards I hit off of that. So there's imagination, another duality, and a harmedic. Now my deck, even though I am going first and I do like the duality, I don't want to keep dualitying into duality unless I have Mystic Mind on board going second or something. Uh, so we're going to grab Imagination, replacing the Imagination we discarded originally. So pretty much we kind of turn duality into Imagination. I'm going to set Solemn Judgment, set uh, Void Feast, and hope that's enough to get me the game. Uh, my opponent draws Stain Grease for turn, but um, elects to start with Tour Guide. Um, they do have a couple of extenders between Shea Brigandine and Stain Greaves, but they could have started with uh, Torn Scale. Um, now I opt to just Judgment the Summon of Torn Scales, hoping that they don't have an extender, because at this point they have no level 3s. Usually Tour Guide is like a very dangerous normal summon, so I figured I'd give it a shot at stopping them, although using Judgment... Uh, this is actually the game where I decide I'm going to cut Judgment, because this is actually a really scary uh, line that occurs. Uh, my opponent's going to activate Shade Brigandine. It gets summoned. I tell him to put it in defense because it has to go in defense. Not that it's going to matter. Um, uh, Stain Greaves is summoned. He's just going to be uh, potentially just linking these off for Verte. Um, is what I expected. Maybe go into Link's Fighter, then make Verte. Uh, I'm holding Void Feast for a while because I don't want to commit to what I want to make my monsters. I also don't want him to have... I want him to use cards in his hand so he doesn't have cards to like drop it away. Um, I, I try my best not to rush this out, and I don't think everybody's on, like, talents currently to be that worried about it. Um, so they're going to summon, using e they're going to summon Zay Amon. Uh, they were on a 60-card build, uh, which was something I didn't notice right away, but um, that means they're playing a bunch of weird cards, so I'm not sure if they're just trying to play a fiber package here with the Zay Amon, which is a tuner, if you're not familiar with the punks. Um, they're just a emergency teleport engine into Halka Fibrax. They do some searches. Um, Odds are they're not trying to do that here. They're probably just trying to uh, have level threes. So they'll pay 600, search Foxy Tune, which means they can discard a card to get another level three in play. I think they're going to activate that, pitching their um, Foxy Tune and their Torn Scales, which puts Torn Scales in Grave to summon another copy of Zay Amon. So that means they're either not playing the Trap Card or the Spider. Um, so in this case, I decide now is the time to get rid of the Torn Scales while they can't utilize it for anything. Um, well, I. I Thought about doing that, <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, so then uh, they summon Cherubini, and now I'm like, okay, great. They're going to commit to the uh, uh, Cherubini. And I'm going to activate my Infernoise to try and deal with the cards in Graveyard. So I'm going to activate Void Feast, sending Void Vanishment, because I have Imagination for the follow-up, or Mystic Mine as well. Uh, I send Sights Moss and Deviati. So I want to be able to banish card in Grave, and I want to have a Monster Negate. Um, spell Trap Negate's not really relevant at this point. So at this point... I activate Sajet immediately to get rid of the uh, Torn Scales. They could just send another one. Um, but I actually intend to negate Cher uh, Cherubini if they do that. Uh, so they activate Cherubini, sending Ancient Cloak. I activate the Deviati to negate and banish the Cherubini. I think they actually just win the game if they would have just made Link Spider climb into Unicorn and Link into Access Code. 
So that's why Judgment is a card I've decided to cut in the long run. If I go first enough to negate one thing and just die to the first thing that comes out, I'm actually really scared of that. So I think they made a misplay by just not pushing for game, considering how low a life I had. I can't stop an access code. There's like no play against an access code. Um, they weren't locked in the dark, so if they make a Link Spider, uh, they get two pops and then they just leave a guy in defense position and attack it with um, literally anything. Uh, so, or So we'll, we'll see what they decide to do. So I banish the Ancient Cloak so they don't have a follow-up. So I'm going to banish Cherubini, banish the Ancient Cloak. We have two monsters, so at best they're making Verte right now. So they go Link Spider, Link into Verte Anaconda, summon the uh, the Hero. They didn't draw any of the bricks, but they have the Artifact Scythe, which is, a, of course, a good thing to have going on there. They go for battle. They do 3,000. I have 1,000 left. Um, in Standby main, they don't activate their cards right away. Oh, they want to go to Standby, so we're going to go back. They're going to pop their Verte and their Scythe. So Scythe's going to come out and stick itself to the board. They put in Defense, which is uh, dangerous against the cards I have here. So I have Scythe's Monsters, which can attack into monsters. Um, uh, I can get over that with a lot of things. Uh, in this case, I have to decide how I want to approach the game. So I'm going to summon Scythe's Moss, attack into Scythe, use it to pop, uh, to banish the um, Phoenix Enforcer. So at the end of the battle phase, if I battle a monster, I can banish a card on the field. Uh, so I get to banish that, and in Grave now they have uh, Celestial and Dasher. So if I banish the uh, Dasher, the Celestial doesn't do anything. So that's what I elect to do. So I banish one to summon Harmadic, use Sight's Moss to Tribute, and banish the Dasher, so he can't just draw and summon a monster from hand if it's high level. He draws uh, Torn Scales and has no plays and just admits defeat. Um, I assume I would have kept the pressure on, but who knows. If your opponent's going to scoop in advance, you're not going to stop them from doing so. Uh, let's go to game two. Uh, so they opted to make me go first, which I thought was interesting. Uh, so I just normal Decatron, try and set up a... I'm not sure what I set up. Monster Negate or DD Crow could be good in these games. Um, so they have a handful of extenders. Odds are I'm just going to die. So they start with Torn Scales, uh, activating Kage Musha Knight. Um, so I let that go. They then uh, link into Cherubini. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I can kind of two-for-one them by getting rid of the Cherubini again. Oh, I didn't. All right, so they send Ancient Cloak, activate Ancient Cloak to search for the Silent Boots. Um, they activate Torn Scales. I'm going to negate Torn Scales so they don't get a body on board to summon the the uh, Silent Boots from the hand. So I was hoping that would keep them off of additional plays. But they have Seer in hand, so they just summon Seer. Um, they're going to link into Rusty, so they get to set up some, some of their cards. So they're going to send... Um, Ragged Gloves to set Fog Blade using the effect of the Rusty. At this point, they can summon the Silent Boots. They opt not to. They probably should have, because they could have just used um, um, Destroyer to pop the Silent Boots, and that way they can get into Grave to search a Fog Blade. Instead, they just attack. I just take 4,600. Uh, they set their Scythe with the Fog Blade they already have. They have Saint, um, Silent Boots in hand that I know about, and I wouldn't have known about the Zay Amon. Um, so they can activate the uh, Ragged Gloves to mill a card. What will they mill? They mill Silent Boots. Okay, so that gives them access to the Fog Blade anyway. So they found a way to get to the Fog Blade. Um, so sometimes there's more than one way to get to the desired end goal. I draw Called by the Grave, which is of course fantastic, because I don't really want to get Scythe locked. Uh, they have to pop two of their cards, so they pop a Fog Blade, which uh, doesn't really accomplish anything. There's nothing to really bring back. I mean, uh, they could pop Hero. That would give me two shots with the Called by. Um, so I'm going to activate Called By on Scythe. And I'm going to activate Imagination to Fusion Summon. They've already used their uh, Enforcer. Now I have Double Fusion, which is one of the better plays the deck can do. So I just Imagination Summon Tierra. I send uh, no duplicates in this case because I drew the Scythe's Moss. That's usually the seventh card, and I sent the uh, Decatron instead. Because at this point, um, I'm probably not going to be feasting at all. So I didn't conserve my monsters to be used for feast in a certain way. Uh, next, uh, activate Tierra, knowing it's going to get fog bladed, so I'm just going to link off for gravity controller, putting the fog blade in graveyard. And then I'm going to summon Sight's Moss, which uh, can currently get over the Rusty, but it can't get over the um, Destroyer. So I'm going to attack into the Rusty, and then I'm going to... Uh, they take... What happened? 
Uh, they thought they took 500, but they only take 2100 because I'm losing 400 attack from the uh, hero. And because it's the end of the battle phase, I'm going to... Oh. I I think there was some confusion about what effect I was trying to activate, so I attacked once with the Sight Smoss to use the Banish on-field effect. So after the battle, I was just trying to banish a card in his graveyard. So I put that back. So I activate attributing the Gravity Controller to banish the Rusty. Um, I assumed that they would just uh, Fog Blade to get it back, but they didn't. Um, so then I use the on-field effect to banish the Enforcer from the field. And in main phase two, they just concede. So um, trying to think if there was another way to play it. I mean, I could have made more of a push. I could have just summoned the Sight's Moss, tributed off a monster, and then tried to fuse again. Maybe put out more monsters, but then I have to play through all these Fog Blades. Um, they conceded. I don't know if I could have played more efficiently here. But that is what I'm trying to look for. Was there a more efficient way to go? Uh, oh, I sent the first Deviati, so I couldn't do the second fusion. So that was something I couldn't do. Uh, anyways, I think that's going to wrap up uh, this particular um, VOD review. If you have any comments on the deck list, um, please let me know. It was in the previous video. And I'm going to continue to post my results as I go. I'm currently at like 290 for rating, and uh, we'll keep going.